Hello, my name is Jacqueline Twilley. I'm CEO of AIM Inc. And I'm delighted to share with you the concepts of AIM and AIM's founder and global CEO, Jack Manning Bancroft. He recently released a book, Hoodie Economics, Changing Our Systems to Value What Matters. And I'm going to share with you a short story today that is an invitation. So with that, you are invited to a values system revolution. Hoodie Economics is a party for everyone because it turns out that economics is for all of us. It's in what we value, which is shaped by where we place our attention. It's up to us to start centering relations, joy, and ideas from outside of the margins. So let me set the scene for you in this party. I want you to, for the next nine or 10 minutes, to leave distractions behind, turn off the notifications on your devices, and tap into your imagination. So as I'm setting the scene for that, the location is on one blue rock. It's located in a huge universe. The date, right now. We've got some urgent work to do. And the dress code, hoodie or not, just be yourself because you are enough. So I want to give you a little bit of background about AIM and our founder, where we've come from, because it will help inform where we're going over the next few minutes that we're going to spend together. So Jack Madden Bancroft is the founder and CEO of AIM. He is a graduate of the University of Sydney as well as Stanford University, a former New South Wales Young Australian of the Year, and has written books for both children and adults. He is currently an honorary fellow at Deakin University with the Indigenous Knowledge Systems Lab. And that's informed a lot of the work in this concept and body, Hoodie Economics, as well as the work that we've done overall with AIM. So as I said, I wanna share with you a little bit about where we've come from as an organization. There will be a call to action at the end. About 19 years ago, while at university, Jack designed AIM, a network hack for inequality. It started in Sydney, Australia, and has since gone global. It was and is an attempt to restore relations by creating unlikely connections in a new network. An anti-networking model of human connections and anti -net and in the anti-networking sense, it expands beyond you and your network while plugging you in elsewhere, connecting those inside the margins with those outside of the margins to build a fairer world. So Jack, as well as the AIM team, recently re released a new digital nation on the internet. It's called Imagination. And it is a digital country for those voices outside of the margins and for systems change designers to come together to work on some of the most challenging uh, issues that our global world is facing. So I wanna share with you a little bit more about hoodie economics. Our economy inside of AIM is a relational economy. That means we value face-to-face -face relations. It's based on healthy indigenous patterns of re relations where you give and don't expect anything return in return, knowing that it is not a waste of time. It's a concept called give, give. And you can read more about this in the book, Ho Hoodie Economics. With this philosophy, we trade as needed and we share our knowledge freely and we share it widely. And what this does is it deepens our exchanges. We're building an ongoing mentoring continuum of human progress. And at the center of our economy, it isn't a coin, it's a hoodie. That sweatshirt is the common thread. Now the hoodie is seen as a symbol of rebellion for the outsider or even an outcast. And the hoodie that we're throwing our hand out to those who are wearing hoodies and for those who don't, remember you are enough just as you are, so you don't have to wear a hoodie. And with that, to those who didn't realize that we are all economists, we 
each decide how we value one another, understanding history as well as our future. We dance through a temporal shape shift to make decisions day in and day out. And that is really about our economic decisions, our moral decisions, as well as our decisions about life. Albert Einstein once told a journalist, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. So back when AIM was in its third season of actively mentoring students, a group of mentors were freezing outside in red t-shirts that said mentor. And in that conversation, uh, some of them were sharing, we need a hoodie. And AIM didn't have a lot of resources at the time. It almost made no sense to invest the little money that the organization had in something like a hoodie. But at the same time, it made it it made a lot of sense. AIM needed a uniform, something to tie us together across cultures, across race, across age, and more importantly, to send a signal that we were connecting on a different set of rules, an anti-networking system. AIM needed a way to value exchange because the mentors on campus were giving their time and the students, the mentees, were also giving their time and their knowledge. So with this, the hoodie, this token of exchange was born. University students would share 15 hours of their time as tutors or peer mentors. And this was the equivalent of earning perhaps $60 an hour Australian. So that was about $900 Australian per university student that wasn't measured by transaction, but it was measured instead by relations. How much was given into the network as well as what was flowing onwards. So AIM began to measure the number of university hours in the early years from 2010 to 2020 and saw over 250,000 hours in kind from mentors that was donated towards peer mentoring as well as tutoring. And the worth of this mentoring time was about $15 million. This huge in-kind gesture, this kindness, was an example of relational currency. And it was central to building the hoodie economics model, which requires bridge building and the gift of time. It required trust and belief in the decency of others involved in the exchange and required a sense of censoring one's worth reminding us that turning up for one another was just as important as anything else. And as AIM looked and, and Jack looked at that $15 million number, they could see how a small group like AIM that had little resources in terms of access to financial capital could generate value. And it was in that point that Jack and the AIM leadership team began to see how the hoodie and the mentors wore it as a constant currency. Our mentor hoodie could not be bought. It was exchanged for time, knowledge, and opportunities being offered by the volunteer mentors. Now we've explored other AIM fundraisers, but what we found is that over the past 20 years and having gone full circle, there are no transactional hoodies that take place in the AIM economy now. Everything must be in relation, centered on change, on action, and that's where value can be measured, not by suddenly slamming an arbitrary dollar sign at the end of a story. The hoodie is a symbol. So I mentioned to you a few moments ago that AIM released a digital nation to the world called Imagination. This is where we're inviting change makers like yourself to come into the community. We are unlocking inside of imagination, 1 million imagination presidents. These are university students from outside of the margins to have center stage in a global platform, shifting the way that we network. Now, there are many other ways to enter imagination. There are several visas 
that you can find on aimmentoring.com. And if you want to hear more of our story, I invite you to explore Jack's book, Hoodie Economics, Changing Our Systems to Value What Matters. At AIM, we are a nation of dreamers, and we invite you to tap into your imagination. Thank you for spending a few moments of your time with us today.